Hello there everyone and welcome back to Red World. We are currently playing as the Soviet Union led by the glorious Vladdy Daddy, Mr. Putin. And we're pretty much ready to go to war with the People's Republic of China. Let's see if we can actually see what the casualties are like so far. Yep. That's a lot of dead for the Warsaw Pact versus eh, not that much from these guys. Wow. Uh, Germany, you really don't like the Chinese, I guess. We're obviously not in, I mean, and my puppets aren't in, which is totally fine with me. We got plenty of manpower for now, we're no longer mobilizing. Totally fine. We mm, we could go to war immediately. I mean, they're not too well stacked on the border here. I mean, it's not too bad in some areas. Other areas are not too good. Uh, let's see. Linguist, seducer, why not? We need more anti-air. We need more support equipment. So, anti-air. Well, we're trying to do a little better. Support equipment. We're trying to do, hopefully, a little better. Yes, we are trying to. And we should probably really build up some more, as usual, military factories. And this place too, because this place, this single tile, is causing a lot of supply issues down the line, especially in Mongolia. Oh my goodness. Magnetodisk. Mag. So it's all the way over here that's causing some more issues in terms of supply, which is not very good for anybody here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. There it is. And go ahead. So we could go to war. I'm just a little afraid of the Chinese because, well, let's be real. They got a lot of manpower. They have got a lot of divisions. They've got a, lo a lot of equipment. Wow. Just, oh, is it really worth going to war them right now? It could be. It very might, well, could be. Our allies have pushed quite well into Tibet, but... I don't know, man. Ah, to heck with it. Why not? Sure, we'll engage in your petty little conflicts. For now, I'm not... I don't really want to try to attack. I mean, it could help us out, maybe. If we help force... Well, we're not going to force the attack, but... Have the infantry do this. Germany has enough equipment, even though they're trying to attack as well. So, we'll see what happens. Can... If you guys help support the attack, could you guys actually win in some areas? It really doesn't look like it. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really look like it. So, let's how about we stop the attacks overall. Maybe except once these guys win down here. And we're in good... It's going to hold... We're already taking supply issues, or we have supply problems. Offensive doctrine. How is the infantry holding? Oh, the infantry is actually doing relatively okay. They're actually doing well. Over here, not so much. We've lost 31,000. Not great. If we're gonna, I would like to call these guys in too, but I kind of don't actually. Just because if we throw them in, then they will probably put divisions where, or put divisions on the front line, and we can't really deal with the supply issues right now. We just really can't. So, tank wise, how are we looking? Oh, you're just kind of hanging out down here. That's actually probably for the best, because supply is just not very good. It's just not good. And you guys are down here. Yeah, it's just... I'd love to attack, but they probably won't do that well. I mean, they're losing a lot of guys. The Germans, they hate the Chinese for some reason. We're doing really well in this part of Mongolia. Ningjia? So, cool. And also, we're doing a focus of the Warsaw Pact Air Doctrine. I can't remember if I read this to you guys or not, but... Now the entire Warsaw Pact should review its Air Force Doctrines and Strategies. Not very super descriptive, but that's alright. That's alright. I mean, of all things, infantry are doing well, while the motorized are just kind of hanging out. And we can try another attack, maybe. Especially in coordinated areas like this. Especially when the Germans are helping... Well, they can help all the line if we fail. And our units get too weak. But it looks like we might be able to win. So, if we can, that'd be great. Even supply-wise, or air... We don't have air superiority, which really, really sucks. Uh, that being said, we're doing better, oh, except on support equipment and anti-air as well. Hmm. If we could get down to Tibet and encircle all these guys, that would actually probably be really, really good for us. I'm actually surprised that the Germans were able to push this hard into China so far. But, you know what? I'll take it. And I'm sure everyone else will as well. So, you guys come over here. That'd be good. And you guys come on over here. South China Sea. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get our guys all blown up and such, but whatever. You guys, just do what you do down here. Bang, Bengal. Uh, do this area too. Not that one. There you go. So, that's where they're somewhat so connected. And now we're somewhat losing here, which is not ideal. My goodness, supply is so bad down here. Oh, boy. Uh, how are we doing level 5? Skill 5 attack. Alexander, not too much here. Victor, infantry expert. Get 10% more division attack. That'd be kind of nice. Losses, not bad. We're doing relatively okay. We have killed off 183,000, so... How are we looking? Actually, that does help with supplies if we can take this territory, too. So, that does help out. I kind of like that a lot. Help break over so we can need less supplies over here. Good, good, good. Nice. 
Good. And if we can, try to get down here, too. If we can help, like, encircle these three divisions, that'd be kind of nice, you know. Uh, do you have any, you guys have anything here? Paratroopers, probing attack, camouflage. And that's alright. Come on, come on. We got him, we got him, hopefully. We're gonna need so many APCs after this. Uh, some of the comments, uh, especially one, that stated that people recommend that when we play as American Republic, don't choose the Republicans, because everyone chooses the Republicans' path. Uh, we'll see what happens, I have no idea. So, maybe we will, maybe we won't, so. While being the most powerful country on the planet, our special forces still fall behind in many nations. So, there's that. Hopefully the Chinese don't give us too much of a run for our money, but we'll see what happens, obviously. That's not good. Uh, you guys go in here, defeat these guys. Ooh, the infantry is not looking great now. Uh, yeah. It's looking pretty mixed, we'll say. they have lost a lot of guys. We've lost quite a few, but we're actually, I think, doing relatively okay. We just need to put out more soldiers, really. Um, and just better stuff overall. Uh, close air support. We're using, we're using drones, so operational integrity is probably the way we, the way we really actually want to go. Powered exoskeletons. Nice. More heart attack and piercing, why not? Very cool. This should help us with supplies as well. Keep beating them up. Hopefully we'll be doing okay here. Good, good, good. Maybe even circle some other divisions. Maybe we'll see what happens. You guys go this direction. You guys go down there. See what happens. They're not... Oh, they might be lacking some, some equipment too. But then again, so are we. How, so how's the infantry doing? We're doing relatively okay. We're still pushing into the mountains, which is not good to attack, but you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, we're still doing quite well. They've lost almost a million soldiers so far, which is, well, kind of ideal. Let's circle three more guys, that'd be great. Come on, come on. I know it's over a river, which is sucks, 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 sucks. 93, come on, just a little more, just a little more. 94, come on. The bigger the number, 95, let's can we get to 96, 96, 96. Yep, yep, I, I feel like an auctioneer, 96, 97, do I hear 97, 98, 98, 99? I can count. I can count numbers, 99 to 100, come on, oh, we got him, go, go, go. You guys hold, don't worry about it. Yes, yeah, actually he's helping our supply issues, nice. Over here, we're starting to suffer a lot of not successes, so, in the meantime, let's be from the front line a little bit more. You guys come all the way and swing around all the way up to there. Get some more max playing, yeah, the enemies will be more and more entrenched, but whatever. Oh, Chinese Social Republic. Oh, he's kind of happy. Chiang Xiao Yun. Okay. Oh, this is president. Okay, well, that's interesting. He's the son of Chiang Kai-shek. Oh, do we have... Oh. Well, maybe I should have used that earlier. My bad. Well, we'll use that when we go to war or fight some more guys as well. Oh, uh, Japan is done. Korea is done. Oh, these guys too. Why not? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I should have been realized what's going on around here. Well, that's not good for our subs. Now is it? More task forces, split them up even more so it's harder for our the enemies to see these guys, so. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. Or not, they just keep thinking, yeah, they're, they're very extremely efficient with what they're doing, holy crap. If that's the case, then don't do it around here, do it when it's further out so they can't actually see us as well. So maybe the Philippines see, uh, coast of Japan, there you go. Try that, maybe. So we're a little further out so they can't bomb us as hard. Um, anywhere else we can maybe make an encirclement? Maybe eh, three, nah. Uh, four divisions against three. We might be able to squeak out a win here, maybe. Thanks. I'm glad I'm not using them yet, because that could be really bad for us. There's, oh, they're taking this part out of India. Well, that's all right. They've lost over a million, which is good. They've up less than 400 divisions, which is also very good. We've done 62% of all war score, uh, or have 62% of all war score, which is nice. You guys come up here. You guys help them out. We can circle a couple more divisions. Don't mind if we do. One, two, three, plus five, two is five, six divisions. Not much, but we'll take it. There you go. There you go. Now, this is nice. Less, enemy, less enemies are just, just good to have. And of course, we gotta go to Japan as well. Oh, did we lose this? Oh, that sucks. You should be able to win, right? Help them out if you can, then go right there. Equipment wise, we're doing better in anti air. Guns are actually becoming a lot better. We had minus 30,000 armor personnel. Oh my goodness. 
We need so much rubber. Screw it, we're gonna trade for it then. Alright, not bad, not bad. We could just use more military factories as well. Oof. Uh, make one at a time. Eh, I'll make two, why not? There we go. Did we get... Oh, we got it, nice. Alright, guys, head on... Well, let this division gather first, because we're going to attack with these six divisions. And after training special forces... Actually, what do we research next? Advanced automated mining, not bad. After this one, we'll probably go South American Summit. We should promote a summit in South America to forge new relationships on the continent. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and do this as well. Can we actually win here? We probably... I have a feeling we won't be able to, actually. It's looking not too strong here, so... If I could force the attack, we probably might be able to, actually. Yeah, they stack these guys a lot here. Ooh, they have attrition as well, which is good to see. I like that they have attrition. We need so many supplies. Actually, can we get any... Oh, we're already trying to get the next level, which is good. Uh, 2019, it's only 2017. It's almost November. What else can we do here? Yeah, some of this. Advanced night vision? Why not? 1.46 million are dead, but this is China. So they have pretty much infinite manpower. Did we get it yet? No, we did not. That sucks. Uh, yeah, they, they are stacking a lot of soldiers on the border still, which sucks. Um, actually, if you guys come right here... We might be able to break over here as well. Get here over here. I'll send you guys down here. That'd be kind of nice. And strike here. Let's go four more divisions. It's not much. Then they can produce these divisions so quickly. So, um, if you'd like to, you can help out. That's actually probably a really, really good place to, to help defend. Actually, Yuri, so, uh, scavenger. That'd be good. Whatever we can grab, we're gonna take. And South American summit. Very good. Actually, we probably have to. Launch a naval invasion to these guys as well, so. Fighter baiting, don't mind if we do. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, naval invasions are probably the way we gotta go. If we could cut this area off Qingdao. And have that as a choke point and invade there as well. That'd probably be best. I don't want to send my tanks over here because the supply is just not going to be super good. <sighs> That's one motorized. You both have only one motorized. I'm going to send just you over here first to begin with. Supply is probably going to get really clogged up though. So head on over. See what you can do. Are we sinking anything? Not really. No. Mm, sucks. Alright. Well, they're suffering from attrition, which is nice to see. So. But from our intelligence reports, they got a lot of manpower. So, and intelligence, and intelligence, well, they got a million things. They don't have that many fighters, which is good to see, too. Jeff Mackler sworn in. Okay. Well, all right. New spy satellites. Let's grab some more radar. Future satellites. That'd be kind of cool. And, oh, the Greater American Union. Oh, did they? Okay. Okay. So, after Bernie Sanders died, this guy came into power. And is beating up Angela Davis. So I guess the Socialist Party is stronger than the commies. Alright. Uh, 300,000, 1 point some million. Not bad, not bad. Supply problem. No, we have no supply problem. That's actually really nice. Ah, uh, the Crypto Ciphers, huh? Well, oh well. Anything we can do around here? No, actually, supply wise, we're doing okay. They are suffering a little bit of attrition, about 10%. Not great. Really not great. Is there any other area here that we can maybe exploit? Because we're not suffering attrition, which is nice. These guys, though. I like this. 36% attrition. Not bad. I'm sure they don't have... Uh, improved exoskeleton? Sign me up. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab this, too. Some more soft attack. 1.6 million. You know, it is what it is. Alright, the tanks over here yet? Nope. Now, you say you can do well. I kind of don't believe you, especially with all these enemies on the front line. So, we could try this, and try that, and try that. Could you actually win it in the mountains? Probably not. Now, I know we have still the breakthrough bonus we can still use, but I don't want to use that yet. We're still missing a lot of equipment. Guns, armor personnel is looking a lot better. Support equipment, anti-air is looking a lot better as well, so... Hmm. We could try maybe slicing up this way, maybe. And you guys help out this way, too? But really, I just want you guys to go here. 
and go right there. Actually, the motorized might have a good chance to do well. Um, oh, except for... Uh, didn't we already do Japan? I thought we already did Japan. There you go. Ooh, that's not good. Open up a new front. Over here would be really nice to get. Uh, what if we could? Especially defend across over the river. That'd be kind of nice. Plane wise, yeah, it's not looking good for us. Oh, do they have drones? Yeah, they got drones. We need more anti air. We, need, we should improve our anti air, actually. At least you guys are showing up. That's not too bad, actually. Good job, guys. So, we'll go two at a time. One, two. Invade the actual port. Because we gotta get a port here. We gotta get a port. One, two. Now, these guys could die where they're stationed at, which would not be very good. We need both ports. Absolutely. And we'll cut off their ports from each other. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, come to Vladivostok. We might have enough supply there to do that. And we'll go there to there. Nine, ten. So we got all of these areas are going to be hit. If we can take this area and hold with our tanks, that would probably be extremely good for us. But of course, we'll see what happens. We have, there's no guarantee that we'll be successful here, but we shall see. All right, if you guys could help out, that'd be great. Yeah, go right ahead, guys. You guys head on up here and maybe help out too, maybe, perhaps. Yes, yes. Ooh, Germany's not looking good, though. Oof! That is not good for them. Come on. Come on, guys. You've got this. I know you've got this. They're only Chinese motorized soldiers. And that'll be a nice and one that we can have. We've lost a third of a million. They've lost... It doesn't matter. South American Summit. Well, let's go ahead and do meet with the Indonesians. Why not? By meeting with the Indonesian government, deals could be reached concerning trade and economics. Uh, the Rio de Janeiro Summit is a highly anticipated event, with leaders from across South America joining in Reno to meet our leader. At the moment, there is wild speculation concerning what kind of deals could be made at this conference, but anything could still happen, and no one is sure how willing the Moscow leadership is to make concessions. Push for Brazil. Uh, well, it depends. It depends. Argentina, how are they looking? Renewal Front, National Conservatives, your Liberals, Colombia, New Democrats, and Venezuela. Well, I think we gotta push for Venezuela just because they're communists. And Hugo Chavez, why not? Ask for investment. The leaders have met and discussed a wide range of issues from South American geopolitics to even growing Asian economics, but as of now, their delegates have already requested that we invest in their nation in a supposedly beneficial relationship for both. Sure, why not? Help them out a little bit, that'll be okay. And come on, come on, come on. We're so close. Ah, we got him. Good. All of you guys, just go ahead and tear them asunder. There you go. That should be nice. Get rid of those guys. We're not going to win down there for yet. That's all right. Let you guys win here. You guys go in there. And then come on down here. Good. Kill them off. Ah, Germany. Yes. Yes. If you have infinite equipment, I will gladly take it. Ah. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely illustrious. Twenty eighteen Winter Winter Olympics. Nagano lost his previous bids for the Winter Olympics in the nineteen eighties. Okay, cool. I guess it was in Japan. Nice, very nice. Move on in, take him out, have a good time. Oh, what's going on here? Is someone attacked? Oh, they're attacking us. Ooh. They lost over 2 million now. Very good. Uh, they actually did win here. No, they have not. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's really bad. Holy cow. Wait, is that... Hold on. Let's look at, look at their stockpiles. Let's see. Armor personnel carrier is good. Infantry equipment is good. They are... They still have enough equipment. They really do. So, okay. That's a lot of manpower. I wonder what conscription level they're on. Actually, can we nuke them? That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, they're actually attacking us too. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this if they're attacking us. I mean, our divisions probably aren't looking super, super, super duper strong. Anyone have upgrades? No. No. Yes. Oh, the tank journals. I knew I could rely on you for medals. Anything else here? Nope. All right. They're attacking us, which might... Uh, I'm a little worried. I'm quite worried, actually, about this. We'll see what happens. We got to do the yellow sea. We got to do the sea as well. That's fine. Take these guys off since nothing is happening down there, as well as here. Fighter baiting is nice. Let's grab some low echelon support. That should help out at least a little bit. Any more subs? Yes, please. And more tip cruisers. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. How are the dockyards? They're looking okay. 
And they're attacking us quite crazily, but that's okay with me. I'm totally okay with that. And we kill them all up there. That's beautiful, my friends. Alright then. Hope we don't get sunk too harshly, and... Well, it's time to go. Oh, did we lose the place here? Oh, we might have. Yeah, we might have. That's not good. Hopefully we can take this area. Hope I didn't send some tanks to die, but I might have. You never know. What are we missing? Support equipment? Of course we are. Oh, they do have some divisions. Chinese Social Republic is done. I would love to just generally attack, but they're they're killing themselves off quite nicely, I'd say. Three million losses. Up next will be Sri Lanka. Why not? All right, how's it going? How's it going? We haven't quite arrived. And the Italians, like what they did in India, they are trying to get in here as well, hopefully. Come on. Actually, we could have Dalian. Actually, it would not be bad either. Come on. Why are, why are these tanks moving so fast compared to everyone else? Where is everyone? I don't want to send guys and then have them die. So, just in case, we're going to grab this real quick. All right, then. You guys can begin assault. You actually might still be able to win. Good, we got supplies. Go, 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 go. Now, this is going to be quite difficult to do, but we have our guys trying to invade as well. Oh, the, Ta the Italians are the doorstep of Beijing. God dang, in this mod, Italy seems somewhat competent. Wow. Cut these guys off. That'd be great. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Go down here. They're probably going to be reinforcing the line a little bit more. We might actually get this guy encircled our ourselves. Come on. Oh, he's completely cut off. And... Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Lots of armor down here. And just in case, build up this area with even more naval ports. That'll be a smart thing to do. And some infrastructure, which we cannot get to right now, which sucks. We're going to throw all of our tanks in here. Which would probably be actually a really bad idea, but whatever. Oh, man. You are desperately trying to hold off. Well, defend until the last man. Come on, how is this taking so long? Can they actually pierce us? No, they can't. Logistics, yes, yes. More maintenance companies, yes, that'd be good too. Beautiful, my friends. Now, go ahead and realign ourselves right here. Do this, that'd be very good. Oh, boy. Go ahead and do that too. And actually, for the subs, don't even do that. Just do escorting. Everyone's just going to do escorting. That'd be good. You guys go right there. And you guys go right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Making a more powerful navy, I love it. Now, I'm expecting extreme battles around here. Like, oh, they're literally dead. Holy cow. That bought us enough time. Thank you, my tank divisions. Thank you. You've given it your all. And they will receive a hero's funeral. Because I know these guys are going to attack us like crazy. They're going to attack, attack, attack. Uh, good, we're done. So I can fill in more soldiers here. Build it up, build it up. The Germans have arrived. They can help out the front lines as well. Oh, man, that's center line. How are you losing? It must be they have air superiority. Yeah. Uh, tank division-wise. You don't have any anti-air. Get rid of that. There you go. You don't need a lot of anti-air for this. Hmm. I don't like this. Where are my soldiers? Everyone hold. Oh, they took Dolly on. That's good. Did they? Ooh, this is perfect time to strike then. All right, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. People's Republic of China, we're doing this all together. A massive front-wide push. God, I hope this can go well. Strike into the Chinese lair. And is that really all? This is not one, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is not all the soldiers. You're still stuck up here. I need you down here. I know supply is not great. But holy cow, we need you down here now. Actually, if that's the case, build up this area with, like, lots of land ports. Hold on to all the checkpoints. We can't afford to lose this area. If you gotta retreat, so be it. Ooh. Oh, the Germans showed up. That's good. That's really, really good. How are we doing on the front? Not great. But, yeah, we're we're doing okay in some areas. Definitely some areas we're doing okay. We lost a lot of guys with the Chinese. I mean, we're gonna lose a lot of guys, period. So, what do you expect? And meet with the Congolese, trade, meet with the Vietnamese. How about that? Vietnam relies on China far more than the Soviet Union. Perhaps a meeting could change that. Sounds like a good idea. If we can get up to here. Oh, the Italians are crushed out over there. That's not good. Oh. 
Build up more supply, more supply. Because they are going to be attacking like crazy railguns. Don't mind if we do. Special forces. Do we have any better tanks, maybe? Yes. 2017 main battle tanks. Yes, yes. Alexander, you're learning a lot. Oh, they're actually beating our soldiers up. That's not good. Get those soldiers in there. Come on, how are the ports doing? Oh, we're building up the the forts. That, that's very, very good. Lots more supplies. Lots and lots of lots of supply. We're gonna throw more divisions in there. Our allies can be thrown into there. That's good stuff. Man, he's gonna be learning a lot. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. And our attacks aren't going great. I and mean, we're losing a lot of guys. That's why we put on that breakthrough thing. Oof. We will fight tooth and nail for everything here. Let's get some more anti-air. That helps us out Im immediately, which is awesome. You guys. Yes, Sergey. Fast planner, throw planner. Ooh. Let's go with that one. That's good. Anyone else have upgrades? No. Anyone here? No. Anyone here? No. And of course, no. Oh boy, oh boy. Tanks were wounded. Our guys are... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We've lost... We're just racking up the casualties for ourselves right now. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You know, things happen. Things happen. You guys hold. It's not that big of a loss for us. You guys seem to be doing actually relatively okay-ish in some areas. The motorized, though, they're doing okay-ish as well. They're slowly pushing into here, which is taking so long. Actually, hold on. Hold the phone. The border, the area is completely open. We might be able to break out to help the, the, the Italians and Germans down here. Oh, the casualties are just mounting. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. This is so not good. Keep holding. Keep holding. We've got this. We've got this. Come on. We're getting more soldiers in. We've got more naval ports around here. Good, good, good. Oh, we cut them off. We cut these guys off. Good, 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 good. All these soldiers are going to die in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go in immediately. No stopping. We're going to... After this, we got to take a massive break in terms of, like, assaults. Because we've lost over a million soldiers. We're getting close to that. China. Taking out China in 2018 probably would have been a bad idea. No matter what timeline. Oh, some of you guys got injured. But that's quite all right. All right, so... Nothing happened. I just had to use the restroom real quick. So, we're still attacking. They're still attacking us. We actually are doing relatively okay against these guys. But I'm sure our thing is over for the... Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pause on that one, too. Yeah, the PRC. They love attacking quite a bit. We're doing relatively okay ourselves. So, I think for now... I think maybe the infantry shouldn't attack as much. I mean, we're so close to killing all these guys off, which would be great. These guys already are all encircled, which is awesome. How's this looking down here? They're still attacking... But not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. Attacking the PRC. Oh, hello. Hello. Look at that. Maybe we should get some strategic bombers around here and uh, get a little new cappy. How about that? Do we have strategic bombers? We got a lot of planes now, actually. Improved drones? Don't mind if we do. Not bad. Throw some guys onto there. Throw some guys over here as well. I think that'd be very good. And it sounds like my cat is outside my room already. Even though I just, you know, faded in and faded out. Go figure. Well, we're doing relatively okay now. Piggy. Hey. Pig. Come on. My bad. My bad. I left my door just a little bit open so if he wants to come in, so be it. If not, I think at this point we probably got to stop attacking with these guys. Maybe just a little bit. Eh, they're still doing relatively okay. Well, stop the attacks. How about that? If you're over here and you're losing, don't worry about it. Everyone else, you're doing a good job. You guys. Whew. Uh, it's not looking good for some of these guys. I'll put it like that. Um... Finish these guys up over here. And actually, all of you guys, just finish these guys up here, too. There you go. They'll fold. And infantry can help just, like, hold the line for now. So, we'll do this. What? What? Game? No? No? Gotta just squeeze the living crap out of that. Uh, right. Mouse wheel. Go and hold. Good. Good. And experimental rockets. Eh, we could... Naval Doctrine? Sub stuff? Why not? 
Give me some better subs. Oh, and have they stopped? They have stopped attacking, huh? Ooh, can we? Oh, we can build it up here in Shandong. Good. Maybe build it up a little more. Maybe some more airports. You know, good stuff like that. Give you more military factories as well. How are we looking? Ooh, minus eighty thousand guns. Ooh, man. APCs are looking a lot better though. Support equipment, not so much. Hmm. I'd love to go boom, boom, boom to attack and encircle, but you might be able to win, maybe. Select half you guys, and select half you guys go down there, maybe. Maybe not. Slowly we might be winning, maybe. Yeah, 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 we are. That's good. You guys just go on ahead. We gotta link up with these guys down here. So overall, I'd say that was a su successful push. We took hundreds of thousands of more casualties, but we eliminated a lot of them. Stockpile-wise, how are they looking? We're not sure. Um, not really much has happened for them. We got a few more planes now, but you know, whatever. All right, so I think it's maybe time we put some. Actually, let's do this too. Uh, put down the resistance in areas like here. You guys help put down resistance like areas like Manchuria. You guys are doing that over there. Go and do that. Intelligence over here. And intelligence in the capital. There we go. Now I get to learn a lot more about them. Oh, we're doing quite well down here. Quite well. They basically get no supply, which is good. And we're doing okay. Just going to take a little bit more time to get rid of these guys. Let them starve out a little bit more. Have a good time with them, of course, you know. Oh, oh are, they, are we still trying to fight this, huh? Now the Germans are in their own tanks, too, huh? Not a bad idea. Oh, God, yeah. This is just going to be funneling soldiers in and out, in and out. Nothing here, nothing here. Local recruitment, eh, we're kind of okay with that. Meet the Vietnamese, and then we'll probably do Berlin Summit. Uh, meet with the, with Kim. How about Kimmy? Kim Jong-un has, or Kim Jong-il, actually, has established an even more radical regime in Korea than most other communist countries. And reports coming out of Pyongyang suggested that leaders shifting away from the Soviet Union. Well, that's not good. Oh, this is definitely dangerous for us. Oof. Ah, there we go. We can meet with the Vietnamese. So we're getting this done, which is nice. Meet with Kimmy. Oh, what are we missing? A lot of stuff. Thank you, Poland. I love the Polish. Anti-air? Why not? Oh, they're actually trying to beat us up here. Alright, so if that's the case, you guys just go and hold. We're struggling a little bit here, but that's alright. They've lost over 6 million now, but that doesn't even matter to them, since they have so much manpower. And how are we doing down here? Okay, so you, at this point, you guys just, just get inside here. Just move into here. Seriously. It shouldn't be that difficult for us to do so. Mukden must die. All these soldiers over here have to die. They have less than 300 divisions for now. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, I would like to help out the supply situation around here. Maybe a little bit, if possible. Oh, they are attacking somewhat, which is good to see. Pretty good to see that they're attacking us. Getting more intelligence off of these guys, so that's good. Ooh. Adaptable is nice. Very good stuff. Maintenance 2. Let's grab some maintenance 3s. Oh, yeah, they love attacking us. Bunch of crazy attackers. Oh, what is this? The Union of American People's Republics has capitulated. Oh, good for them. Level 5 still. He's learning how to become an urban assault specialist, which is nice. And these guys are attacking all willy-nilly. There are over 7 million casualties, and they've lost a few more divisions, which is good. Anything down here I should report on? Not really. Uh, so motorized. How are we looking? Um, I'd recommend everyone just go right here and just kill them off. There you go. That is one, uh, it's nine plus four is usually 13 divisions. Not bad. And since we've got so many people, go and do that. Since you have so many motorized, mechanized APCs. Good. Now, it's going to hurt supply a little bit. But I'm figuring that maybe we, we should put you guys on the line as well, or maybe not. Hmm. Supply is not terrible. But if we do that like this, like literally, well, supply is actually pretty bad around here. If that's the case, I'm going to put you guys all the way up like here, maybe. There you go, something like that. Get out of here so the supply is not too bad. Probably. 
Because I would like to do another naval invasion, like all the way around here, around Shanghai. So if we have less supply issues, the better, you know. Yes. Nope. And planes. Do we have any better planes yet? Let's see. Fighters. Fighters. Duplicate those guys if we can. One, two. Well, we'll put you right there. We're not really using you right now, though, so it's not really necessary. Follow it up with you guys, maybe. You guys go right there, since we're still using some infantry, and you guys go right there, maybe. About a little bit, not bad. Alright, so, we need to get way more guns. We got plenty of artillery, we need way more guns, though. Artillery, artillery's looking pretty nice. Alright, so we gotta get enough guns here, so here's what we get, gotta do. One, two, three, four. Now that'll give us enough APCs, and that will help us maybe with more guns for now. So, Fort Gomez is not looking good either. Planes are fine. I'm going to do this. Go down to 70 for now. So we can get way more guns here. That'll be good. Mexico joined the Democratic League. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. So, you know what? I'm okay with this. If America goes... Or Socialist America goes to war with Mexico, I'm okay with this. Nope, nope, nope. And... Thanks? Not bad. Have we lost anything else? No, we're still building up hopefully some land forts maybe around here. Shandong, definitely. Very good. They're running out of supplies, hopefully, as well. Oh, they pushed us out of here, huh? Oh, wow, we're looking really bad. It's just APCs. That's all it is. And maybe battle tanks? No, we got 1,600 of those guys. Man, the battle for Qingdao is not looking too good now, is it? Not too bad, though. We'll be throwing a few more guys here. So they lost 7.74. We've lost 1.2. And our intelligence should be much greater on these guys. All right. Uh, they have 20 combat with divisions with engineers, which is not good for us. 4 million manpower. Equipment-wise, they're doing... Oh, I can actually see infantry equipment detailed by the tech level. There Looks like they're actually running out a little... Well, they're not running out. They have plenty of stockpile, but they used up a lot or have quite a bit less of infantry equipment as well. Anti-air is not looking good for them. Plenty of manpower, of course, so that's no surprise there. How's infantry looking? Looking okay. Not great, but okay. I would like to attack here if possible. Supply is not too much of an issue. Can we actually win here, maybe? Yeah, maybe. We don't have air superiority. They do, but even then, we're doing relatively okay. And future tanks? Might as well. Better anti air? Good. Even more. Max that sucker out. And since we got so much armor X or XP right now. Very reliable tanks. There you go. APCs are looking much better now. Much, much, much better. Meet with the little Kimmy. And meet with the Congolese. By meeting with the Congo regime, details or deals could be reached concerning trade and enormous amounts of resources in the region. Awesome. I love the Congo. The Congolese. Uh, how are we doing? I'm surprised you have not learned anything more. Urban Soul Specialist is coming online. You know, he's doing an okay job with that. Are you guys uh, poised over here? Yes, you are. Very good. One, two. God, I hope this naval invasion will go okay as well. I kind of don't think it will go as well as last time, just because this is going to be harder to take out. But you know, I could be wrong. Open up a second front. Or I guess technically a third front, I guess, these guys. You guys go right there. We just got to grab as many ports as possible. You guys go up there. And take this port if we can. That'd be a really good thing to get. One, two. So we got eight, including this one I currently have selected. Go to Shanghai. One, two. And then... Uh, you should be able to do that fine fine enough. So we got one, two, do, 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 all the way through here. So we'll do that one. I want Shanghai or Hangzhou. And then push ourselves out a little bit so we have a good place to defend. Sub operations. Grab some more. That'd be nice. How's our navy looking, actually? Five more ships. Two more submarinos. That's fine. 
You guys looking okay-ish. Where are you guys at? What are you doing? Nothing. Alright, so how about you try to raid? Good luck, Alexander. Good flipping luck. Yeah, they keep attacking like crazy. We're just fine with us. Alright, so we're going to attack next. Ourselves. Well, how about right here? Should be able to win here, right? Should be able to. Not bad. It helps if maybe we did an operation, infiltrate civilian government, capture the cipher, infiltrate the army, air force. Res collaboration government actually is probably really good to do. There you go. Go ahead when you can. And do we even get strategic bombers? I don't think we ever did. Drones. Plenty of drones for now. I'll throw just one more on drone on here for you guys. Uh, Saudi Arabia is gone. I don't know they were fighting, but okay. Good luck with that, guys. One, two, uh, one, two, three. Two, three. One, two. And go right there, because you're going to need it. All right. All right, how are we looking? Main battle tanks, we got a little bit less. Guns are looking slightly better. Slightly. Now it's getting a little bit worse. Point eleven. Point. Yeah, we need, we need more guns. All right, so... Gun-wise, where are we? We're down there. If we need to do that, so be it. We can lower us to three, probably. Now lower to one, actually. That'll be fine. Lower to one, we have more than enough. Even more guns, roughly 300 a day. Still not enough for some reason. A little bit less artillery, so be it. This tank general's got to be learning a lot. Like, how are you not done learning even more yet? This bird's fighting. Oh, what's he got for us? Charismatic, organized, re let's go with reinforce rate. I want to be able to reinforce the lines a little bit faster than that. And operational destruction, don't mind if we do. Alright, we ready to go? Let's try it. This might end very, very, very poorly for us. Maintenance Company 3 is actually very nice. Uh, do we have any strategic bombers here? Um, no we don't. No we don't. Okay, that's weird. Thought we would, but that's okay, whatever. Better maintenance companies, might as well. Because we have a monitor tanks, right? Yes we do. And this will help out save a lot of equipment, hopefully. Meet with the Congolese. Come on. They have only one division there using our tanks, we should do okay. Oh! What, what's going on? Do, supply issues? We got supply issues here, maybe? More ports, maybe? There you go. Throw more ports on there. Shing dong. It's alright. I must have got a lot of Chinese off already. Alright, we're getting close. Do they not have it defended? That's fine with me. Alright, we've done a great job. Awesome. Link up, link up. And you guys link up there. Use... Oh, this is a really good place to defend. Right there is an amazing spot to defend. We got two more ports. Great. This is actually an extremely good place to defend. With that river over here, too. So nice. Good. And just in case. Build up these two quite a bit more. That'd be nice. You can help out. And you guys can help out, too. Another front has been opened. Very good. And that might draw a lot of soldiers away. Oh, it's looking sort of weak around here. We might, eh, maybe not do okay. So, uh, two months left. Two months. That's not bad. Not bad. How many Chinese have died here? Well, not enough. They're halfway to capitulating. Nice. Well, less than 300 divisions. Less than 300. You guys actually might be able to push out if you really wanted to. Yes. Oh, they, oh, and they started attacking us down here too. Good. I'll have you guys hold for now. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, their tank divisions are not looking good. Let's take a look at their equipment. Because obviously our equipment is not looking as good as well. 286. Let's see. Artillery. The infantry equipment is doing okay for them. APCs have got plenty of APCs. Even more anti-air. If they got planes trying to bomb you, you just bomb them right on back. This is a little worrisome. So, indeed, we will do that. I'm not too worried about this. Maybe build up one, but really this one's more important. Keep building, keep building, we're doing okay. And our field marshal should be learning a whole bunch of stuff. 
There we go. Not bad. Invaders. Ah, he did an alien invade twice, so. And we are pushing out through here. And this is going to throw in so many of our allied soldiers here to help crush these guys. Uh, I would love to do the same thing around here, but I just don't know if we have the resources to do so. Oh, their infantry's not looking too strong either. They're probably missing some support equipment, probably, because they probably don't have enough engineers. Then again, I could be tucking out my butt and I have no idea what's actually going on. Go figure. Meet with the Congolese. Very good. Grab some more anti-tank. That'd be good. We need so much more stuff. I'm not going to lower the fighters, though, for now. We need way more. We need way more stuff. Um, Revisor Tech. Oh, Berlin Summit. The Berlin Summit will bring all members of the European Union and Warsaw back together to discuss a variety of issues. Sounds great to me. And do we really have more stuff here? No, we don't. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job, and we can always retreat back here if we need to. This has got me a little worried, though. Get back in there, boys. Where are our allies? Come on. Okay. I don't want to force defense, but you know what? Even then, that's not okay. Yeah, that's, that's really actually not okay. Force the attack. Crush them. Kill every single one of them. There we go. We got more tanks coming in. That's good. Help them out. Help them out. Good. These guys in Hangzhou are doing okay. You, you immediately help out. It doesn't matter what happens. You've got to help out. Infantry on the line. Well, we can do spotted attacks. We'll call them spotted attacks. Now, who's attacking over here? Nobody? Good. Very nice. Very nice. The Chinese front... Oh, it's not looking too good. You guys probably want to stop attacking then. Oh, uh, we can take Jinan. That'd be kind of nice, though. Uh, can they... No, go on. Just hold. Just hold. Just hold the attacks. They're still attacking us down here, which is fine. We got that tile back, which is very, 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 very good. We've killed off over 8.5 million. Not bad. We've lost 1.3 million, which is doing a lot better than what we had earlier. And actually, you guys are actually all showing up now. Good. Upgrades. Girl fighter. Ah, eh, you know what? Let's grab that one. Entrench our tanks a little bit more. That'd be nice. Yes, I love the poles. Ah, oh, what a great people. And we've got 10,000 more guns. That's better. And now they're attacking us very crazily. Which is, of course, not... Oh, fine with me. We actually got grabbed one of the nuclear reactors. Oh, maybe we grabbed two of them. Go figure. All right, guys. It's your turn to come to Zing Bai. Goodbye, Zing Bai. Three divisions. Probably not a smart idea to attack here. But we'll see what happens, maybe. Yes, yes. Good. They use planes to shoot down their planes. Not bad. Yeah, they're attacking like... Oh! Oh! Italy! Oh, actually stuck some planes. Nice. Good job, Italy. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend more, maybe invading with more than just one division. Oh, they're attacking it through here. And they actually push, push them back a little bit. Look at that. Wow. We still might yet have... Be able to defeat China in this episode. I wasn't sure if we would be able to. And obviously, they're not dead yet. We'll see. Level 6. Great. And the motorized. How are you doing? Without you... Oh, actually, you're looking really bad. I should not have sent you up here, actually. That's probably why we're running out of APCs constantly. Come back to Europe. There you go. Get out of there. Stop using up our supply. That's not good. I could send them to maybe over here. That actually might not be a bad idea. What's the supply like right now? Uh, it's actually... It's okay enough. I will send one of you guys over here, too. You look... Well, I don't really care who you are. Get over here. We're gonna need you. Because my goal is to get Beijing by the end of this episode, so we'll see. And I'm waiting for this. we got two weeks left. Two weeks. Actually, fighting for Jinan would have been better, just because we could defend across the river as well. That's alright. Oh, man, they're looking so... Look at those tank divisions. So god-awful. They lost over 9 million now. That's good. They still keep trying to make more divisions, but... Let's see. So, our anti-air is getting worse and worse. They have no artillery. They have no anti-tank like us. Uh, infantry equipment is slowly getting destroyed. They're okay. They're constantly having an okay amount of APCs. And planes, they've got some fighters. They're out of support equipment. So, they're pretty much like us. We've got a lot of political power. I wish we could do more stuff with it. I really wish we could. A grill fighter, why not? You might need it if you got to entrench yourself a little bit faster. Totally fine with me. Which I almost never use on tanks, which is very weird, but whatever. Level 6, that's fine. Did they break the lines yet? No, our allies are beginning to show up here, which is cool. Very good. Really, And after this, we got to take out Japan at least once, so. There'll be at least one more episode in this campaign. I'm not sure how much longer after this, but we'll see what happens. Could we actually move over here? Oh, we got it done. Alright. 
That is going to be an extremely costly attack in terms of lives. Before we do that, though, let's go do this first. And we have a lot of planning bonuses. We've got the Chinese bonus. I think we'll be pretty ready to go. Now, we're just using infantry, which is probably a bad idea. That's okay. Especially since they don't, they're already lacking a lot of guns. We're doing better on anti-tank as well. So, not attacking does, sometimes does help. We push him out. Yes, we did. Very good. Okay, give it five seconds. And then we'll, then we'll begin. Oh, that's not good, too. Five. Four. Three. I, I almost lost track there. Two. One. All right, let's go. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. A massive infantry strike from the north of the border. Anti-air, good. Get it. Future anti-air. Beautiful. Now, it's probably a really bad idea, but we're probably causing... Well, losing a lot of guys. Causing a lot of ca casual... Hello, tease. Are they shifting soldiers around, maybe? No, not yet. That's okay. They're attacking us like crazy around here, which is fine with me. You guys do that. You guys go ahead and do that, too. Help them out. Take them out. That'll be good. I want Beijing, and the north here should fall relatively okay, like... That's why I put a lot of breakthrough on. We're not winning down there. We're winning not too much over here. Taking this would be so good if we could. It would be so good. I don't think we can win right here, though. I should get some strategic bombers. Oh, it's paused. My bad. Uh, if you can't win, you know what? That's all right. Just kind of hang out. We've lost 1.42. Come on, Beijing is a goal. Slowly winning over here. Not so much over here. Where are you guys at? Um, I told you to go the other direction, guys. Yeah, putting you guys up there was probably a terrible idea, actually. It's alright, though. You guys, hang out. Hang out. I mean, they're running out of equipment, just like us. So this is not too bad. Yeah, infantry is not great. We're getting closer and closer and closer to Beijing. Because they're halfway to capitulation, which is nice. Uh, let's see, anything else? They're, they're out of tanks. They're completely out of... Well, they're almost completely out of tanks. They've got 2,000 left. Um, not looking too bad. They still have, Yeah, they haven't really lost too much. Aerial Visionaries? I don't know about that. Come on, guys. Berlin Summit's nice. Rio Politik. Sometimes you must sacrifice ideological integrity and beliefs to secure a strong standing on the world stage. So be it. Yes, grab some of that. That'd be good. You guys got to be doing 466. It's not bad. How are we doing down here? They're st they stopped attacking as well. All right. Well, I wonder if we can push out this way. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. Air base right here. Build it up a little higher. Oh, uh, actually, do the Chinese own it? No, they don't, which is good. You guys could use it, and actually, the infantry could really, really probably use that too. Any other bombers, maybe? Drones? Yes? No? Okay, we don't have that many more drones available to us. Give it to the infantry, they need it more. Good. And... Good. Infantry. Operation Destruction. Let's grab some more agility. That'd be good. They're still attacking. Man, our tanks are getting walloped here, aren't they? Don't lose it. Actually, just send one in. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Good. Beijing is a, almost a frontline city. Almost. We're so close. So close. Extremely brutal fighting. Oh, we're just throwing men away. 10 million in a loss, though. That's good. And actually, yeah, this front hasn't changed too much. So. Did you guys actually win there? No, it's green, but it's probably going to keep going down. Yeah, that's what I thought. I would love to attack their boat, just another supply port. Oof. Oh, they're still still—they're just still attacking like crazy. But then again, so are we, so. What do you expect? Maintenance 5 for 4. I'll grab some more entrenchment. That'd be good. Good. Beijing will be a frontline city, so we've already broken... We've taken Tinjian. How do we pronounce that? Good. And the more casualties that take, we take, the better our um, war score, right? Beijing will fall, which would be great. And it will help take away some of their more factories, so that's good as well. 
Uh, do we get the motorized down here yet? Oh, we have... No, not really. Not that other army yet. Oh, you guys are coming in, huh? Come on. Take Beijing. It looks like we really can't, though. We could cut Beijing off. Yes. Very much yes. Yes. They're still attacking like a bunch of crazies. Supply wise, minus 70,000, minus 11,000 APCs. Uh, anti air is still getting actually a little bit worse and worse and worse. They've lost a little bit more. We're losing probably less than they are right now, which is good. Beijing is almost fallen. They want to throw in more soldiers. We'll throw, throw in more soldiers too. Such costly attacks, man. We got it. Beijing's ours. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, so here's the plan. Um, from here on out, I'm going to do the next focus I'm going to do after this, and I'll just finish this off off screen just so that we can get through it a little bit more quickly. The World Order needs a sign of stability. Well, everyone, I accidentally, you know, actually went a little bit too far, and well, here we're at. So, the, the PRC's already capitulated. Uh, they lost a little over 12 million soldiers. I really, really wish I showed you the peace deal, but actually, we actually linked up all the units around here, and I just took Nanjing, which must have capitulated them, so it is what it is. We lost probably a little over 2 million, they lost a little over 12 million, so uh, at the end it was just one giant attack to take them all out, so uh, yeah, I think I'll just pop a China like that. Cool, I. That'd be really cool in every campaign where you could see, oh, this war lasted this long. I mean, as you can see, we lost a lot of people in the last month, last couple of months. I don't know if there is a way to do that, but yeah, as you can see, here are all my units. Um, it is June 3rd, 2019. Uh, I actually re naval invaded Ningbo with our motorized engine. They're not looking too good. But uh, yeah, we actually linked up, as you can see, the smorgasbord of infantry, motorized tanks, and it was a very costly war for us, but it is now over, and I think there's one more episode in this campaign. Uh, let's read Naval Doctrine because I want to take out, maybe eh, I'll take out, you know, North Korea, just Korea actually in this, in this timeline, and Japan. To do that, we're doing naval doctrines. New doctrines have become necessary within the navy to advance our strength abroad. And I'm going to go ahead and do support the world order. The world order needs to sign stability because I'm going to get this set up so when we can go to just invade Japan at the beginning of the next episode, and as well as, well as European Union investments. Germany has been solidifying its grip over the European Union for years now, so perhaps some official state or official Soviet investments in the organization will convince them of who really rules the continent. But Regardless, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. The PRC is led once again by Li Zhang Su, Shu, and I'll see you tomorrow when we finish up, finish up this campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.